If you like this video and you love college football, I hope you'll join me in building this channel. Just hit that subscription button, and if you like the video, hit that like button. Thanks for joining me. Travis Hunt is the best college football player by far. You can fight me on that one. Let's go. Let's rip. No, really, let's go. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. I am the NIL Commish. Pulling up a seat. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody's having a great day. I think that Travis Hunter is the best player in the NCAA. We shouldn't even call it the NCAA anymore. They're not going to be there very much longer. But anyway, let's talk about the Heisman race. I think you get a once-in-a-generational, very rare talent type player about every five to ten years. You don't know where they are. Um, you know, like your Adrian Petersons, your Derrick Henrys, your Bo Jacksons. Uh, I, I, th like a Dar uh, I guess best would be Charles Woodson in this case, since we're talking about a cornerback. But he's also a wide receiver. And we're going to get into that for sure. All right, let's go over some of the stats. This is an early Heisman poll um, with Jalen Milrow leading right now. Uh, I think Jalen Milrow's kicking some butt. That's for dang sure. He's got an 87.6 QBR rating, 964 yards, 10 touchdowns, and one interception. I would say he's doing great. I didn't add all of his rushing numbers in there, which is pretty awesome as well. But he, he's definitely kicking some butt. But still think Travis Hunter is the best by far, and here's why. He's got 46 receptions, 561 yards, six touchdowns, 12.2 yards per average. He gets, on average, uh, around 10 targets per game. That's, that's basically saying you're our number one guy to go to as a receiver. He's got 16 tackles on defense, three pass deflections, two interceptions. He got 38 yards for return on those interceptions. Um, but here's the stat that makes me just, it hands down makes me think he's the best player. The dude's playing literally 95% of the game. He barely sits down. There's 100 plays in a game, 100 snaps. He's out there for 95 of them, 94 of them, something like that. That's, that's crazy. So if he doesn't get injured, I don't care if he gets injured or not. I, I still think he's the best player. Like, he can go to any team, and he's probably going to be one of their number one targets. He can play special teams. He can force fumbles. He can get interceptions. I mean, he's a lot. He's a once-in-a-generational type talent. Let's go over a few players that are once-in-a-generational type talent type players. As far as, like, running backs, you can put, like, Adrian Peterson down there, Derrick Henry. Um uh, my favorite running back of all time, Bo Jackson. Let's go. The, the best I could find or that I think of in my lifetime that I know of that I watched is Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson was a little bit bigger, but similar. Cornerbacks played really good special teams. It could play offense, but Travis Hunter is doing more than any of that. Like as far as time on the field, we've never seen this before. I, I don't know if that's a good idea. I really don't care about that part. I'm just saying, sorry, Jalen Milrow, Jackson Dart, Ashton Jainty, and you play for Boise State. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Cam Ward, I, I think you're really good. Shador Sanders, I think you're really good. Too bad you play for Colorado and you got Travis Hunter. Let's take away Travis Hunter. I don't even know if you're in the top 10. I don't. We're going to make another video about Colorado someday where I'm more of a hater, but today I'm going to talk good about them. I think at the end of the season, Travis Hunter will probably be invited there. I'm predicting bold predictions here, but might not win it just because of the record. Colorado might not win the Big 12. They might not get into the playoffs. They might they might go downhill from here. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. But right now, they got pretty much two targets. Travis Hunter's the number one. I'm sure Shador Sanders, it, it's almost like we're watching the same team last year. They're just a little bit better. Let's just say, you know, Dylan Gabriel, Jackson Dark, Quinn Ewers, things like that. Cam Ward. You never know. Like, we'll be talking about a different thing uh, a few weeks from now. Barring injury and things like that. Like, it can change very quickly just from one week. It it could be the quarterback just played terrible in a game or uh, your team loses three or four games. You could still be the best player in the nation. and It's just... Heisman's not necessarily always correct. And I think this year it might be incorrect. Travis Hunter deserves it, no matter what. Travis Hunter's a gamer. He's a playmaking machine. 
the guy turns the ball over, whether it's stripping the fumbles or getting the interceptions. The guy plays special teams better than anybody out there. I don't want the kick to that guy. I don't want to throw to his side of the field. When he gets to the NFL, I think he's going to develop into that Daryl Rivas, Deion Sanders-ish type. You can't pass to this side of the field. So we can literally play man-to-man on this side of the field. And they can play zone over there where we don't have as good of a cornerback. And it just makes the, you know, the defensive coordinator makes a life a lot easier when they have a cornerback like that. So he's going to go in the first round. That's obvious. So that's that. I'll end with this. I don't like the Hollywood spectrum that's going on in Colorado. I actually like Colorado a lot. Just don't like what's going on right now in Colorado. But my opinion is that doesn't matter what their record is, doesn't matter injury, Travis Hunter is the best player in college football. See, I didn't call it the NCAA right there. I'm out of here, y'all. Later. <laughs>